I had a dream once. I I was strangling the CEO of Sega. Sonic colon Dream Team. To drop this brand new title on us with zero build up was a little unheard of, much less a 3D platformer that looks like a dream combination of the adventure and boost styles. It just didn't seem real. Where's the catch? Sega Pachinko STEM machine. This isn't like a video game. Is it? What's crazy is it was a video game, but the catch was a grenade. Because Dream Team would be no ordinary Sonic title. It was much too high class for the unwashed barbarians platform. And as such would grace Apple Arcade, iPad, iMac, iPhone, I dream of strangulation. That really sucked. The exclusivity deal sucked so much that I really do think it had an effect on the target audience who just kind of ignored it. Because even if you have an Apple product, you may just not want to play a game like this on something that isn't your preferred platform. However, I should say, it was good. It was good. I know this because the game got nine reviews on Metacritic, which, as we all know, is a lot. It was like a nine more than Scalebound. It even got to a 9.2 on the user score, which, from Sonic fans, Speaks volumes. I don't know what the volumes are saying, but they're speaking. We've got a good 3D Sonic game here. One that is polished, one that is relatively safe, one that won't divide fans, and one that, again, did green critically, which has only happened like twice. Ergo, Sega basically has a fun new game in their hands that still no one has played. Obviously, the issue lies in whatever mumbo jumbo chicken scratch contract Sega signed up to so that Apple would front development and marketing costs in exchange for exclusivity. That's important as this contract really could be anywhere from one to three to five years. Many such cases take, for example, Rise of the Tomb Raider. This game was a notable timed Xbox exclusive in 2015 and would release on November the 50th. However, by October 28th, 2016, Rise would finally release on PS4 as a more complete game, mind you. I cannot think of any other example. And I refuse to do the research. Hell, it may have nothing to do with time. Maybe what they really need is an arbitrary number of downloads to prove to Apple that it was indeed a worthy exclusive for the service. That's just speculation from me, because at the end of the day, we really don't know what's going on. We do know that there is a chance for multi-platform release, as the ambassador for Sega Hardlight, the division of Sega who made this game, did say this. So here's my informed gaming prediction. I predict Dream Team will be revealed in December and shall Shadow dropped immediately. It just makes perfect sense. Why, you ask? Well, first of all, the game released on December 5th, 2023. So naturally, December 5th, 2024 is the earliest day it would come out, exactly one year. December is also notable as you have two big events happening that month. The Game Awards, which is one of the biggest gaming shows of the year, and the release of Sonic Movie 3. Let's start with the Game Awards as Sega and, more importantly, Sonic have a relationship history with Jeff Keithley. Despite the fact that this is meant to be an award, show, the Game Awards springs like 15 million trailers and sponsorships and whatnot, so people have come to expect big reveals at the show. Furthermore, it feels like since 2021, every Jeff Keighley event has had this expectation that Sonic will be there, which is cool for one, but also reputable. 2021, Sonic 2 gets a reveal trailer, Sonic Rangers has its first gameplay. I just lift. 2022. Frontiers isn't quite there, but it is at the SGF playboots, which are being guarded by the fucking Yakuza for whatever reason. Side note, it is funny as hell to me that Sega just didn't close off the area when enforcing this. Balls out. Legs out in the middle of the room. I'll admit, the secrecy definitely added to the intrigue around Sonic Frontiers, which makes me wonder if it was intentional. Anyway, June 2023 rolls around, as does Summer Game Fest. Sonic Superstars gets a big reveal trailer, and then one year later in 2024, we get yet another trailer for Sonic X Shadow Generations, showcasing Shadow doing something. So there is a pattern here. The Game Awards have so many eyes on them. In fact, the eyes increase in size every year, as does the please wrap it up sign. It's a very lucrative spot for garbage. What I do want to point out is that this year's Game Awards shall be taking place on December 12th, eight days after the cutoff and eight days before Sonic 3. It's right in the middle. So it's not hard to imagine Sonic Dream Team getting a nice little trailer here, maybe even right before a final Sonic Movie 3 ad. And speaking of Sonic 3, Sonic 
3. This movie is a big deal. This big ass deal is bringing Shadow into the mix. Shadow has been part of this huge marketing push for like the past year and for good reason. This guy is cooler than you, he's cooler than me, as hard as that is to believe. They got Wholesome 100 to voice him. They recreated his in-game motorcycle, put it inside of a van, and proceeded to parade it around America with a goddamn secret service motorcade. Those people are fucking crazy. They should not be allowed to exist on the same plane as us. Last but not least, you have the Generations remaster, which is just an excuse to make a new Shadow game. I get the vibe that they are trying to let people know about Shadow the Hedgehog. So the final step to all of this must be A, relaunching Sonic Dream Team, and B, releasing it with Shadow DLC when the game re-releases on every platform. Meaning it would only be DLC for the schmucks on Apple. He is, after all, the most popular character left that isn't already in Dream Team. Right? I think the brand synergy lines up perfectly. Too perfectly which is probably why it's not gonna happen. In conclusion, please let normal people play this game. Strangle, strangle, I said strangle, I said strangle. I didn't, I didn't say anything about stabbing. No. Do you, ser do you seriously think I'm gonna pose a threat to the CEO of Sega? I'm kidding. No, it was a joke. It was a bit. I'm no one. Would I, would I kill someone over this? Yeah, but like... I... No, 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 obviously I'm not gonna stab it. I'm not gonna stab. I never said stab. Who said anything about stabbing? I don't... Who are you? What? You're with the London Metropolitan... I don't live in London, I live in Bradford. No, okay, listen, tell him he's gonna be okay. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna strangle him. You don't need to press charge. Alright, yeah, that's fine.